Alex. <laughs> oh. It's Saturday, March 5th, and I'm supposed to go flying here in about an hour. So let's see what happens. Let's see if the weather holds out. Nope. Got canceled due to wind. It's going to be funny. <laughs> It's going to be funny if I get everything done and I'm passing all my tests and everything, but I literally don't have the flight time to be able to get my license. Stay tuned. I think that sucks the most about it is that like, even though I kind of knew, like I knew it was kind of windy. I knew we probably weren't going to go, um, but I still have to get ready to go, even though there's like a half a percent chance that it works out. So it's kind of like, I have to get everything ready, get everything ready, but it's probably not going to go, but I still have to get ready. Probably not gonna go. It's March 12th and I'm supposed to go flying in about an hour and a half. The clouds are threatening to uh, interfere, but um, the ceiling might be a bit too low, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So uh, I'm, not, I'm at the airport. I never got a call that we weren't doing the flight, uh, but now I'm out at the airport and a little bit of drizzle right now. So it's, uh, it's not super windy. Apparently somebody just came in um, and it's not super windy or anything like that, but there is some, some drizzle going on right now. So. So we'll see, uh, we're going to go have a look at the radar and we'll see if I get to fly today. Here we go. So we're out here uh, by the Executive Flight Center, which is right there. Oh, so that's the vehicle, but this is the Executive Flight Center right there. Uh, just getting some fuel, because we, we, we did a fuel check during the free flight and realized that we're a little low on fuel. Uh, so yeah, we're just getting some fuel, and then we are actually going flying, which is very exciting stuff. So yeah, we're here with Victor Rocha Tango, and we're about to go flying, do some stuff. And there's like a jet over there too, can you see that? Can you see the jet over there? No idea what's up with that. But anyways, it's a US red jet, whatever it is. Paul, I'll actually go flying today. We'll see how it goes. The wind's picking up a bit, so we'll see how it goes. So, do you want to try making a radio call? Sure, so I'm going to say Camelot Radio, Golf Victor Oscar Tango, and the executive... Um, planning a local flight to the west. Local flight to the west. So okay. that's your second call. Your first call is just Camelot Radio. Radio. This is Cessna 172, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. All right, here we go. Camelot Radio. I, I gotta practice this. I'm gonna freak out. Camelot Radio, uh, Cessna. Do I have to say 172, or sh should I say 172? Uh, up to you. Cessna is good enough. Okay. Camelot Radio, Cessna, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Yeah. Camelot Radio, Cessna, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Tango, Camelot Radio. Radio, uh, Golfer Trusco Tango is about to do a local flight to the west. From Executive. That's fine. Trusco Tango, runway 09, wind 10, altimeter 29 or 84. Traffic uh, on the touch and go runway 09 circuit is a sundowner. You can clock 7134. 7134, Victor Oscar Tango. Alright, so let's get on to the center line. We'll get this guy. Yeah, that guy. Okay, so a little bit of back pressure. Okay, slide your feet down, no more brakes. And look far end, or as long, as far as you can see, clearly. And back pressure increases as we get faster. A little more back pressure. More back pressure. Keep your hand on the throttle. Oh, go easy on the rudder there. Whoops, sorry, wrong way. That's okay. And so nose to the horizon. And keep it there. Not bad for a takeoff. Just uh, go easy on the rudder there. It's Thursday, March 17th, and there's a couple of cool things that have happened this past week. We're almost wrapped up ground school. I have one more ground school class on Monday, and that's it. Um, which is wild to think about. It's, it's been quite the thing. But one of the coolest things we got to do in ground school is I got to learn how to use this. This is an E6B flight computer. It's basically a slide rule that's got like a little dial in the middle thingy here and you can do all sorts of like calculations of like and conversions from like, you know, distance conversions between like statute miles and aeronautical miles and kilometers and whatever else and weight conversions and time distance conversions and all sorts of things. And on the back you can do like wind correction stuff. Whoever designed this, I think deserves a Nobel prize because this thing is just, crazy how much how much cool stuff you can do on it that being said um having now in our second to last class done a cross-country flight plan oh boy am i glad i have the electronic version right here an interesting development has also happened in the past week um obviously with the war in ukraine uh gas prices have gone through the roof because gas companies think that we don't notice but what that's done it's actually pretty significantly raised the cost of flying to the point where i'm not sure i'm going to be able to afford all the hours i need and all the training and stuff i need to be able to succeed 
successfully get my pilot's license. So stay tuned. Let's see. Let's see if I can actually, uh, I don't know if I'm going to pull this off. But the good news is I have flights booked every weekend now for the next number of weeks. So uh, hopefully if the weather holds out, uh, I'll just have more flying footage. If nothing else, I'll have more flying for the footage. Hopefully Paul will go flying again soon it is sunday march 20th and i'm back out at the airport it is looking like we might go flying today it was looking a bit sketchy earlier with winds and stuff but we'll see <laughs> the winds are supposed to be picking up right now even as i speak uh so by the time we've done the pre-flight and done our briefing and stuff we'll have to see what the conditions are like but as of right now we're going so <laughs> let's see what happens there is a bit of a crosswind on this takeoff so i'll show you how to make the crosswind input okay so the crosswind's coming from the left, so we're going to hold aileron to the left. And as we get faster, you can reduce the aileron, otherwise everything else will be the same. Slide your heels on the floor. Yeah, go easy on the rudder. Small movements. A little bit of back pressure. More back pressure. More back pressure. More, more. Yeah, so but once it starts to do that, just pull it up and let let it fly, okay? Because okay. the longer you stay on the ground, the more uh, shimmy you're going to get. Oh, is that vibration that it was? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Actually, the wind's not so bad on the ground. I think I'll let you land. All right. I'll walk you, or I'll talk you through it, and if I need, I'll jump in. Probably a good idea. Okay, so we made the runway. You can cut the power now. Power's off. Yeah. So we're going to go nose down to cruise attitude as we get close to the ground, okay? Just nice and slow. All right, now start to look about 2,000 feet ahead of the airplane there. And get the nose up to the cruise attitude here. And start pulling back again. More, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up. There we go. Well, we are going flying today. It is March 26th, I'm pretty sure, and uh, my mask just flew off, and uh, rolling around now, hold on. So you're going to do the takeoff. Okay. Um, just be aware there's a little bit of gust, so nothing major. Alright, so increasing the power. As we get faster, I can let off the, the no. ailerons. Yeah. Oh, back pressure, getting a bit of a shutter. Yeah, give it some more power. Right, full power, forgot about that part. Yeah, and a little more back pressure. And perfect crosswind takeoff there. It's March 27th, and I was supposed to have gone flying today. I was supposed to have gone uh, flying around 11, 12 o'clock, that sort of thing, and the weather looked like it was going to clear up uh, for that uh, period of time. Um, but it didn't. It's uh, around 2 o'clock. Uh, right when I was supposed to be finishing my flying lesson, and the weather's just clearing up now. Starting to uh, get a bit of sunshine and stuff as well. So instead of flying, I just decided, you know what, what the heck? I'm just going to write my student pilot test. The first exam I had to write, not only did I have a sudden exam to write, uh, aced it. To be fair, you know, this, the exam hasn't changed, multiple choice, it hasn't changed in a zillion years, and all the questions and answer keys and study guides and everything are all online. So there's really no excuse to not get not the 90% passing rate, but uh, let me have this. So yeah, I have, I officially am a holder of a student, student, pi what? I'm officially the holder of a student pilot permit now, so yeah. That, that's that done out of the way. Now I need to actually start studying for the written exam, for like the final written exam for the actual pilot license. Um, because that's going to be a whole thing. So yeah, that's just, uh, it's on to the next one. Well, it's March 29th and a couple of exciting developments have happened. Um, one, I found out recently that you only need 10 hours of flight time before you can write your written exam for the private pilot's license. Um, you need 45 hours, at least 45 hours uh, to um, actually get your PPL, but you only need 10 hours to write the written exam. And the good thing about doing that is that once you've done the written exam, you have up to two years to get your 45 hours. The written exam can't last for up to two years, essentially. So, um, great. This, of course, ties into uh, the fact that I have booked flights every weekend through the month of April. So, um, and of course, with it being spring, hopefully, uh, you know, the weather will improve and there'll be less 
cancellations due to weather and that sort of thing. So I'll be able to actually get the hours and get my written test done while the ground school stuff is still relatively fresh in my mind. But yeah, that's the plan for April is just to fly as much as I can, try and get my 10 hours, try and get my written exam done. Even if I don't get my PPL this year, at least I'll have two years to write it. Everything will still count and everything should still be fine. So yeah, I'm just going to wrap this video up. But yeah, hopefully in April there'll be more flying clips and more landings and takeoffs and all sorts of exciting things. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go now, but I will leave you with a shot of a very cozy dog falling asleep. Okay, bye.